the coolest fish that swims. Prehistoric killing machine. Got him, got him, got him, big one, big one, big one. Got him, big one, big one, big one, yes! yes! Got him. Got him, oh my gosh, giant, giant. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yeah! Woo! Dude, that is a giant. Wow. I finally got a big one. What is up, guys? Welcome to another dog hunt. Uh, obviously, as you guys know, it has been incredibly hot. Uh, too hot to fish muskies, so the next best thing is Mr. Dogfish. So I've been researching and researching online what is the closest body of water uh, to me up here in northern Wisconsin and I have found one that uh, seems very 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 promising. So I just snuck up into this little bay here. I'm gonna get my frog on and uh, hopefully find some of these doggos, these Northwoods dogfish, bowfin, whatever you want to call them, swamp muskies. They're called a lot of different things, but you know what? They love warm weather. They breathe air sometimes, so like, there's really not a better species to target right now. So that's what I'm doing. Hopefully I can find one of these stupid things, but uh, either or, it's gonna be interesting, learning new water. I'm excited to uh, get fishing here. All right, I'll quickly show you the setup for today. I have got a pad crasher here. Uh, this is actually the popping version. I bought four new uh, pad crashers a few days ago and I forgot all four of them, so hopefully, my last fresh one, uh, we'll get the job done today. This is on a 200 Tranks, 50 pound braid. You'll notice we got a little leader there. I'm sure I'll be running into a bunch of snake pike as well. Uh, so this is 20 pound titanium wire, direct, tied directly to the frog. A little swivel there on a 7.2 heavy Corrado rod. Um, yeah, let's see what goes down here. I don't know, I drove kind of a far distance to see if this is actually a, a dog house. <laughs> That's a good start to the day. Um, gonna fish out of the front of the boat, because a lot of times you're gonna be seeing these things swim by you and uh, I feel like I won't, won't see that if I'm in the back of the boat. So let's see what happens here. I really hope this is a real thing, because uh, I need to have dogs close to home. Definitely was one of my worries moving up here. But uh, hopefully, this is the place. Haven't seen any swim around yet. I don't know, it's perfect weather, flat calm, 80 degrees. Not perfect for much things other than this, so. Oh, I got a wake, I've got a wake. Move something of size. Wow, wouldn't that be great? Just first couple casts, just dogfish. <laughs> I do know one. Oh, oh, he's got it. Oh my gosh, guys, that might be a dog. What was that? That acted like a dog, not a bass. Okay, well that's promising. I, I like the looks of that. Um, not a big fish, but certainly uh, kind of doggy. <laughs> Was 27 plus 28 plus shoot yeah that's freaking cool that was a nice one seven pounder probably these dogs are probably not domesticated they don't see many people I'm sure fishing for them but I'm gonna go throw a spinner bait where he kind of spooked off well that's all I needed to see to fish this bay for a while oh man I wish I had a jig on my rod when I saw him that would have been a done deal Still, very cool. He was just staring at the boat. Like, that is so freaking cool. I love these things. So much mystery on them. 
Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that's a dog. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, please be a dog. Please be a dog. That ain't a dog. That's just, I don't know what you are. That's not a popper. Gosh. Oh, that's a dog. That's a big dog. It's a big dog. Oh, it's a good dog. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's got weird red crap on it. That's a dog. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, jeez, they do they fight. Do they fight? Oh, shoot. Come on, baby. Come on. He's out in the weeds. I gotta just grab the line. I just gotta grab the line. Oh, shoot. Yes, I got him. Whoa! That's a Northwoods doggy right there. That's a Northwoods doggy right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First doggo of the season, <laughs> and it came from the 715. Did not see that one coming. Oh, yeah. Not very long, but it's a fat one. Oh, epic. Freaking cool. Woo! Ooh, and the hook's off. Never seen it that easy. Wow, she has giant gashes in her. Who knows what that's from? Is there a bigger doggy in here? But she's so healthy, yet has that crazy crazy gash mark I'll have to show you guys oh I'm jacked up <laughs> do all this research and it pays off that is so freaking cool oh that feels good guys <laughs> I was worried about moving up here not being able to find dogfish I've seen a really nice one and then this one's just a little bit smaller but it's been a while since I've uh, held on to one of these things so I'm excited to grab this little guy okay yes Look at these crazy marks on her. Uh, very short fish, but look how tall she is. This 715 Doggo is incredible. Uh, I don't know what the heck that stuff is on her, but uh, so interesting, interesting. Never caught one up this far north. Look at those little little snout things on them. It's so cool, and wow, that could've been a dogfish jumping behind me. Sun's gonna finally come out. Oh, it feels good to finally hold on to one of these things. I, I'm curious of what she'll measure, but. Oh my gosh, does it feel good. Okay, that ain't a bad fish right there. 25 and a half, 25 and a half inch doggy. First dog of the year. Whew, let's get this uh, gorgeous fish back. I love these things almost as much as muskies. I was kind of bummed out that uh, we couldn't be fishing muskies anymore, but not anymore. We got these guys to chase. This is awesome. Let's get her back. Alrighty, girl. Who knows if that's a parasite on her or what, but they're just gonna swim off. Good old dog. Oh gosh, is that cool? Oh, I love these critters, man. <laughs> Look at her go in this clear water. How freaking cool. <sighs> just watching her swim off like that in a foot and a half of water. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I got a lot of time here. Um, I'm excited to see what else lives in this, this back bay. How cool. What a memory. Gosh, was that a mean fight. Um, after every dogfish, this is a popper. Uh, I know I should have steel on it, but they just don't run as good. Titanium on this, but they just, they just you're not able to make them work like you want them to. So, you know what? I'm going to just play the odds. Retie here. It's a 50 pound braid. Corrado DC. 50 pound braid has failed on dogfish, but the beautiful thing is you don't have to set the hook real hard on a popper because you have a lot of hook points. It's not a frog. Um, you don't really have to worry about missing them on these things, so that's kind of nice. You can you can fight them a little bit softer too, not worry. So I don't know. It's a <laughs> who knows what's the right way. Probably should have titanium on this guy, but either way, that was fun on the old Corrado DC there. Oh, come on. Let's, uh, I saw the one earlier. You guys got to see it as well, I'm sure. Uh, and that one was rather big. So uh, if that was 25 and a half, that was probably 28. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, it was not the same fish. Could have saw that weird red stuff on the side. So cool to know there's two real nice doggies in here. So 
keep giving this a whirl and gosh, let's get another one. Let's get a giant. Oh, big dog, big dog, big dog. His whole head was out of the water. That is so cool. Okay. You're gonna eat a popper, aren't you, buddy? He's out in open water. Wow, his whole head, he was eating something. How oh, freaking cool. Okay, I'm gonna try something I've never tried before for these things. There's a crap ton of bluegills around, and uh, I've got a bluegill rod. Let's see if I can catch a bluegill. We get up on a hook and uh, catch this thing. There we go. That's the size I'm after. Perfect, perfect little bluegill. Sorry about this, buddy, but uh, it's really good. It's very good cost. All right, little circle hook. Just gonna nose hook him. And uh, no, that dog's been moving around here, so let's see what we can do. It's kind of like saltwater fishing. Did not seem doggy. Did not seem doggy at all. I'm not giving you guys an update for eh, a few, a lot of hours, and uh, yeah, nothing happening. Seen one, the one porpoise, and that was about it. So, getting to the magic hour here, and uh, dogs are a lot like muskies. They like when that sun's about to go down. They are uh, weird. Certain feeding windows. I don't know, it's an interesting species, but definitely sunset. It's always seemed like, a, a, especially if you know where fish are, going back on them. I would love to get that first one I saw today. Still cool though, go on a hunt like this, do your research and then uh, get rewarded with one. So I will be back. There's gotta be a record in this body of water. I don't see why not. Finally a bite though, I haven't had a, it's so weird, no large mouth. And I've seen a couple small pike swimming by, but that is it that's back here. And a crap ton of bluegills. So cannot forget that. <laughs> These fish have a lot of food to eat, that's for sure. But yeah, hopefully we got ourselves a sunset window. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. He's got the bluegill. He's got it, come on. Take it, take it, run with it. Just gonna know which way he's going. There we go, there we go, there's a good run. This could be an absolute giant, so I'm gonna just let him take it for a bit. I'm taking. Just gonna let him take it. Right at sunset. There's no way he drops it. I think I should be good to set. One, two, three. No. No. Oh. He didn't have it down all the way. Unreal. Guess I should let him have it for a while. Bluegill, dogfish, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, I should have let him have it more. I was feeling bad. I thought that thing would be all the way down by then.
Well, folks, I think that is a wrap, unfortunately. Uh, couldn't get the job done at sunset. Pretty cool to see the bluegill trick work, though. That was awesome. I mean, that bluegill has was dead for a while, and I was working it under the bobber, the bobber like a, a popping cork, basically, and Mr. Dogfish like that. Uh, it's cool to see. Definitely a tactic that we got to keep using because, uh, obviously, it works. But so cool, exploring new dog water, and it was a success, 25 and a half inch beautiful dogfish uh super fat that other one i saw earlier was big too so definitely promising awesome to have a dog water close to home now feels good feels good uh with this hot weather coming up you guys should expect uh definitely some more dog videos coming up uh lee and i might be making a trip here soon so uh be prepared for some of those videos i'm excited for that it'll be fun to get fishing with him again but yeah that wraps up another dog hunt uh, I really think there's got to be a record in this water just seeing their build that is just so awesome Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button for more dog videos And we'll see you on the next video